Kevin Cass, the power of language, self-programming. We've talked about this a little bit, but let's focus more on the language that we speak to ourselves every day. For example, we say, I can't remember. <clears throat> well, no wonder. <laughs> no wonder you can't remember. You are telling yourself, I can't. It's impossible for me to. I cannot. It's just not going to happen. I learned at an early age, uh, well, having Asperger's, in all honesty, uh, communication for me was different. I used to be much more detached, like watching the world as an outsider, much more quiet, much less of the voice that you see today. And one of the things that I noticed is people, Christians use the expression, speak into existence, or invite the devil into my house. But we don't really think about what these things mean, or and not understanding most things when people say them so briefly. The conclusion, the understanding escapes us. When we say we can't remember, we're programming our brains. Or we really like ourselves on some level, beyond every mask we married. And why wouldn't we listen to ourselves? The sum of the many stories we tell ourselves, what we do on a daily basis defining us, well, we're echoing in our heads, I can't. At an early age, I realized this pattern, and I said, well, I don't presently recall. I'd say I remember 80% of all conversations now. I don't presently recall. Presently, right now, in the present, I don't recall. To call again. Your mind loves grouping things together and forming chains, anchors, neurological passageways. So by changing the language, we can change the result. You may have noticed in waking up in the morning, you're like, oh man, fuck, my back hurts. Oh, my neck hurts. I feel like shit. Today's going to suck. And then today sucks. You've already decided before you've seen anything, witnessed anything, felt anything else. You've already decided to go look for it. Suck. <laughs> you've already pre-programmed yourself to filter out any other possibility of perception. Man, today's gonna suck. Oh man, why does this always happen to me? Oh, here we go again. And of course, because all of your subconscious power is being motivated by that. Being motivated to allow passivity of some bad circumstance to continue and to literally seek out the negative half of the coin. As I like to say, there's a dirty half of a coin and there's a clean half. But Side on the ground, right? It's better protected. So by changing our language, we can change the outcome. You might wake up in the opposite then and say, uh, wow, I look out the window and it's all bright, nice and shit. And you're like, wow, it's a beautiful day out. Today's going to be real nice. And then, even though the sun goes away and it becomes overcast later on in the day, today's kind of nice because you've already programmed yourself to look for the nice shit. Focus on the nice shit. Today's gonna fucking rock. You know, similarly, I consider myself a smart person, as do a lot of people. Try not to be too egotistical. But uh, I believe it started from me saying I'm a genius. You might even say I'm a fucking genius. Regardless of whether you believe it, your mind has an idea of what the word genius means. For me, it was Einstein. And I grew up reading all about Einstein and also uh, ancient Greeks, you know, where we all talked in the square and you had all the greatest philosophers, Socrates, Plato. So in my mind, there's lots of good examples of what a genius is. So when you're calling yourself a genius, you're allowing your subconscious to influence you with all of those qualities of what you might define genius as. And therefore allowing yourself to mirror or emulate them in your own personality. This is the power of the language that we tell ourselves. This is why it's so important to pray or to meditate or to 
use positive affirmations. Or as I like to give a common exercise to people, write on a piece of paper, uh, a list, the I am list, I call it. And I am confident, I am smart, I am capable, I am healing, I get better all the time, etc., etc., etc. And the Bible talks about uh, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you've already received it, and it will come to be. The subconscious mind doesn't really like the word no. So you write it as if it already is. And you can write it in believable format. Notice I said better all the time. I get better at handling things all the time. Guaranteed true, no matter the snail's pace. So it's a believable lie. Because it's the truth. It just encourages you to make it a stronger truth. So you say, uh, I am wise. Uh, I am harnessing my memory's prowess. Yeah? My memory skills. I get better all the time. I'm more confident. And these things will come to pass. But if you're doing the opposite, if you're drilling into your freaking skulls, oh man, I'm worthless, I'm useless, I'll never have this, blah, 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 blah. of course fucking not. Because you're not able to see it any other way. And you're making sure to remind yourself that failure is what you will have. But it doesn't have to be that way. Think about these things. Meditate on it. I'm Kevin Chaos.